from the outside looking in, the house seems larger than life. <laughs> so does the man. But look closer. Just like his home, William the Refrigerator Perry is broken. He don't like to exercise. He don't, he don't do it. When you see him with a cane, you know, can hardly, you know, get around, do what he want to do. It's kind of a heartbreaking situation there. I mean, you think back on the good years that he had, and then you see him now, and it it's, it's gives you, you know, a mixed emotion. At 325 pounds, defensive tackle William Perry, the fridge, was once the definition of an overnight sensation. Only thing I hate to remember is one thing. If that guy show up in that hole, I'll block him. <laughs> you know, I thought I was just going to block for Walter, and that's it. Next thing I know, Coach Dick was handing me the ball. They're getting the football and Perry. <laughs> Touchdown. The whole world, you know, was watching this big guy get on the field and, and running touchdowns in having fun, and then all the stuff just exploded. Later in the 85 season, the Fridge wrapped during the Super Bowl shuffle and scored a Super Bowl touchdown as the Bears became world champions. But the problem for Perry was that the party never ended. I didn't know about it, but I didn't realize how much beer he could drink, and he could drink a lot of beer. He you know, loved drink beer and stuff, and is having fun, maybe two or three cases. <laughs> In 1988, Perry says he told the Bears he had a drinking problem and entered rehab for 28 days. You got to reach out. And you know, that's the first, the first step to recovery. You got to admit that you're an alcoholic. Have you admitted it? Yeah, you admit, admit myself, yeah, I'm an alcoholic. And then just keep on going. So this is an ongoing battle for you? Yeah, you got to keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Perry ended his 10-year NFL career in 1994 with the Eagles, labeled as an overweight underachiever. This man is William Refrigerator But he lived off of his name in retirement. Until in 2008, his body started to betray him. Couldn't move. I mean, I couldn't do anything. Couldn't even hold a, couldn't even hold a fork or a spoon or anything. I couldn't get up. He was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome, a disease affecting the nervous system that can sometimes lead to paralysis and death. His doctor said an infection in Perry's mouth after he had all of his teeth pulled may have triggered the disorder and that it was made worse by his alcohol use. He can sit there all day long, right? Yeah, he was sick, but he could get in that truck and go get it himself. If you want to get a drink, you know, you get, nobody else bringing it to you, so you had to get up, get up on yourself. Ten months after his diagnosis, in April of 2009, Daryl Perry stopped by his brother's home in Aiken, South Carolina, and says he found William disoriented and paralyzed. He called an ambulance. The doctor told us if he would have stayed another night at his house, he probably wouldn't have been here now. And, uh, because he was so dehydrated. And uh, when he got to the hospital, he was, uh, he didn't recognize anybody. When he reached the hospital, William Perry, the fridge, weighed 190 pounds. I was 190 pounds. I don't, I don't believe that. That is really, really, really scary. See, 190 pounds. Mike Ditka heard the news and is chairman of the board of Gridiron Greats, a group that financially supports retired players in need. The former Bears coach helped Perry move to a rehabilitation center in Charlotte, North Carolina. He fell on hard times. Now, whether he brought some of it on or not, I don't know. But that's not important to me. He fell on hard times. And I know that he brought a lot of joy to a lot of people, including me. In September of 2010, after 16 months of treatment, Perry was back up to 320 pounds and returned home. He was given an edict. I told him point blank, no alcohol. If 
you've made this recovery uh, without it. And if you know that alcohol can affect your nerves and you have a condition that you're predisposed to, there's just no reason to, to, to fool around with it. Just stay away from it. Last time I talked to him, I thought he understood very well. And uh, I think he understands that uh, probably this is the last chance. This past November, at a reunion of the 85 Bears, Perry was absent due to his health, instead sending a video message. I want to thank all of y'all for coming out, and we are so appreciated. From the outside looking in, he still seemed larger than life. But look closer. William the Refrigerator Perry is up to 400 pounds and still drinking beer. I ain't drinking that, not that much. I mean, you just, every now and then have one or two. So it's just, now just watching really, you know, what I do. I mean, I'm laying there, like you say, I'm 190 pounds. And you look at me now, I can't be doing too much stuff wrong. 